Hello guys, in this video I want to show you guys how can you get your toggles back here because with Jelly Bean, um, that's the only thing that I don't like about Jelly Bean is that I really like my toggles in the, my notifications. Some people do, some people don't, but I really like them. I've been spoiled, just like many. Uh, I went through the App Store and I got this app which is for free. It's called Notification Toggles. So if you go to this, once you download the notification, and um, this is the first page you're going to see. It's a very nice looking app. Um, here you can see some info, more cool ads, visit, rate, app, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Very good app. Um, here you got notifications. In notifications, you got this options for first. And there is another option for second. You can add two notifications, uh, two lines of notifications. So when you click uh, first, um, here you got different options for you know the toggles that you want to add. So right here, let's go ahead and I add uh, Wi-Fi, I add Bluetooth, um, I add sound menu, brightness, 10, 25, 50, 100, and automatic. That's awesome. Uh, Bluetooth visibility, you got a shit load of toggles you can add, sound, um, brightness menu, a lot, very, very, very good, look at that, look at all, you Wi-Fi tethering, USB tethering, lock screen, wallpaper, you can even go to your wallpaper right from there, uh, music, you could even put a reboot shutdown, uh, recent apps um, here you can actually add um, shortcuts to the menus also for example I add um, camera I add GPS and I add battery uh, the this is a very cool thing right here uh, the camera one was for me it was like a Easter egg because uh, I've been looking for camera apps for the Nexus because the Nexus has no camera app so I was trying to look and I couldn't find a very good camera app so I went you go ahead and add that I add the GPS I add the battery menu uh, you can go to the sync menu and here you can put dividers you can put a, a black divider or white divider to divide the, the, the toggles let's go ahead and click save so when you click save, you put down the the notification and look at that. There it is. So now you got your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, your sound settings. Now you can control your sound settings here. Awesome. Um, you can also your brightness. I'm glad that the brightness actually works very good. And here you got the GPS um, shortcut like I showed you guys you could go straight to the GPS menu or you could go to the USB settings which that's very awesome too here in the battery also it takes you to the battery uh, menu see very cool right now it's right now my Galaxy Nexus has been 16 hours and 9 minutes 50 seconds on battery so that's a very nice thing and it's in 30 it's on 36 percent so boom boom let's go back to notifications and here look at that so when you click the the camera you actually get a camera and this is the typical ice cream sandwich camera which is very nice um, you get the zoom very nice here you can also get the settings. Uh, you can control uh, the white balance. You can control the exposure. It works very nice. Look at that. It actually is working. So it is working. And here you can actually control the picture size. Is 1.3 megapixel is the most you could set the front facing camera. But you could go back too. But you don't want to do that. You just want to stay there. And you can go ahead and take pictures like like there. Like that. Da, 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 da. Nice. And you can also change to video. Here in video, you got uh, more options as well. Uh, you can even make funny faces and everything. Very nice. Look at that. Yeah, time lapse. 
and you can control the settings and here you can also record a video easily very nice uh, this is all going to your gallery and that's it let's stop it right there and here you can go ahead to panorama cool I'm not gonna do that now but let's go here to see the results of the video and look at that The video quality is actually not bad. Not bad for a front facing camera, it's not bad at all. So you can go into the pictures, nice, very cool. And this is all going to your gallery. If you check your gallery, it's gonna be right there. So that for me is an awesome Easter egg from this, um, from this app. I was not expecting that, so that's awesome. Um, another cool feature that I really really liked is the custom apps you can add apps to your notification center you can add, let me clear this up you can add apps like right now I got the app store I got the calendar um, you could go ahead and add another app let's go ahead and add um, uh, let's go ahead and add um, let's go ahead and add Google Plus boom and let's okay yeah yeah, it's saved. And you can go ahead and add gallery. Okay, let's go back. So now, wait, I click, I click Google Plus twice. So now I got four apps. So if I go now, after the thing is, after you choose these custom apps, you gotta go back and choose them from the notification settings. So you go back again, you go back here, click it, and you go all the way down and now those custom apps are gonna appear right there those are the custom apps we just added so let's go ahead and put the Amazon App Store let's put the gallery and let's put the calendar um, here let me show you guys the white divider so you guys can see the difference so you click save and now we should have look at that now we got the white divider which looks nice if you like that I don't really like it right or black divider but now we got more custom apps we got the Amazon App Store you click there it goes straight to the ant to the Amazon App Store uh, we got the calendar now you could go directly to the calendar from the notification center and you could go directly to your gallery and look here the videos that we just recorded with the with the camera front facing camera that is amazing and I can't believe this app is actually free and honestly I will donate something at least I will donate something because it's totally worth it and go ahead we if we keep on going you could add haptic feedback you could change the icon icons colors you could download alternate um icons uh, you could also change the order you could change the gallery let's go ahead and put the gallery um together over here let's put the gallery over here you can put the camera right here and um camera number one so let's go ahead now. You can see that the camera is in front. The Wi-Fi, blah, 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 very nice. And the three apps that I just put here at the end. It works very, very nice. Um, here you got a second notification. If you enable it, you could go ahead and um, add another, you know, let's go ahead and add other features. Let's go add a uh, wallpaper. Where's wallpaper? Uh, I think I saw wallpaper right there the wallpaper and recent apps that's cool and that's it let's go ahead and save it boom and now you got a second notification right there so if you don't like that you could just go ahead and uncheck it and that's it you get your one line toggle back which is awesome I was going crazy without those toggles. I love the my toggles. I don't care what you guys say, but I love my toggles. And it works from the lock screen also. If you click the lock screen, bump, right there you get your notifications. Toggles, which is awesome. Right there you go straight to calendar. Let me see if it lets you launch an app. 
No, I guess not. It, it launches, but it doesn't unlock your 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 tablet. See, let's go to gallery. It did open it because you can see something over here change. Boom! It's in gallery. It's still good. It's a free app, guys. So I can't complain for this. You can still do all these changes. You can go. Let me see if it lets me go to camera. It did go to camera from the lock screen, but it didn't unlock it. But still awesome. So this is this alone is amazing. This alone, the fact that you can uh, now add a camera to your Nexus, because I was surprised there was no camera app, and I went crazy looking for a camera app, and all I found was um. This app called Cool Camera Free, which is okay. It's not that good, it's, it's, but this works a lot better. Obviously, that works a lot better. So, this was notification toggles for free. Uh, amazing app. If you have, it works on any Jelly Bean uh, device, and it's gonna work on your. Uh, Galaxy Nexus the Nexus and it works it works plain and simple it works okay guys so I hope you guys like the video and let me know what you guys think about this app this app is awesome for me for me this has been a life saver love it and I will donate so guys till next time